Hi students, welcome to our class. Hope you have all completed the material. Today we are going to start a wonderful lesson which you like very much. Here is our lesson Art and Culture. In Art and Culture, there are many things which you have known previously and today we are having a brief explanation. Come on, open the trigger pails. Yeah, here is the theme Art and Culture. The theme of our lesson is Art and Culture. There are various arts and cultures. In that if you look at this picture, see the toys, beads and uh, Lord Ganesha toys and the classical dancer. Now, if you look at this first picture, you know what is this? Yes, it is called as Kondapalli toys. What do you see in these pictures? Where do you find them? In this picture, we see the toys, traditional handicrafts, threads woven in beautiful designs, and Lord Vinayaka toys or Ganesh toys. A woman who appears to be a classical dancer. These four we are going to see in this picture. Why did the woman make up herself differently? Do you find anything unique in the makeup of the woman in the picture? What could be the occasion for this makeup? Why did the woman make up herself? The woman is about to perform a dance program. It is so clear. When do they make up in that manner? When they are going to give a dance pro program. So she made up herself differently. The woman appears to be Indian in her appearance. It could be an occasion of a dance competition. Okay. Now third one. Are these handicrafts and the make up a part of our culture? Give reasons to your answer. Now what do you state? Yes, they are only a part of our culture. These handicrafts and the makeup are a part. These idols and pictures are found everywhere. This is our Indian culture. Not only these, we have many arts even, uh, singers. These are all come under our culture. Now coming to our lesson, the story of Ikat. If you open your textbook, the beginning of our introduction is about the class atmosphere. Bell rang for the next class. The small break before the next class was enough for the children. They moved around and started chatting. The mandatory five minutes was over and the teacher did not come. The children started wondering Ramya, do you think Janaki teacher is absent? Ramya, looking out of the classroom, said, How do I know? A few students were grinning. Everyone knew Ramya loved Janaki teacher who taught them social studies. See, now we can dream about our classroom atmosphere during the break time, how you are going to enjoy. And the next class, when it began waiting for a teacher to come, the same situation the bell rang for which class? The next class or what is going to begin. Before that, the small break was completed. Now, five minutes break, they moved around. The children started chatting and doing all the things. Mandatory five minutes was over and teacher did not come to the class. And children all are wondering, means wish to know what happened, why the teacher didn't come. And they started asking one girl, Ramya, do you think Janaki teacher is absent? Ramya, looking out of the classroom, said, How do I know? Say, How do I know? As you all there in the class, I am also one of the members. So, how can I say the teacher is present or absent? A few students were grinning, means smiling here. Why? Because everyone knows. Ramya loved Janaki teacher. 
Now, why the children pose a question to Ramya? Because she loves the Janki teacher very much. And which subject the teacher is going to teach? Social studies. Now, what we understood in the first paragraph? There is a student, Ramya, who loves the social teacher. The name of the teacher is Janaki. Now, which subject class? It's a social class after the break. Suddenly, they notice the teacher carrying bundles of cloth walking towards the class. A few of them dash it to help her. They all liked her as she was fair to everyone and was never partial to one student. The brilliant red and black check rumal shawls with black and blue geometric patterns caught the attention of the class as the teacher handed over the material to the eager helpers. Now suddenly they noticed. Now teacher, why she was late? Because she is bringing many things to the classroom to exhibit to the students. The teacher is carrying, what are they? Bundles of cloth. And she is walking towards the classroom. Usually when teacher carries uh, a bundles of uh, notes or something, automatically students want to help the teacher immediately. They will go near to the teacher and ask for help. Come on madam, I will help you give. In the same manner, here some children were dashed to help her. They go some very quickly near to the teacher. They all liked her. At the second reason, every child likes the social teacher, Janaki teacher very much. What is the reason? As she was fair to everyone. So what is called as fair in the sense? Yeah, fair, ayar. Fair means acceptable and appropriate and she is not showing any partial nature to anyone. Always she loves the children and equal to everyone. So the brilliant red and black check rumals she bought. What are they? Now rumals means kerchiefs. They are of red and black checks. Shawls with black and blue geometric pattern. This caught the attention as the teacher handed over the material to whom? To the students who dashed near to the teacher means the eager helpers. Eager meaning very interested and excited. She pinned them neatly on the soft board and the drab class suddenly looked vibrant. Now, she had pinned, means she is keeping all these the rumals and the, uh, what we say, shawls on the soft board. And the drab class, drab meaning dull, note it, a dull class should now became very interesting. Because teacher is showing different varieties of clothes and suddenly look vibrant, active. See here, drab meaning dull, where vibrant meaning active. Teacher, what are these fabrics? Why did you bring them? Children pelted her with questions. Teacher, what is the reason? Why did you bring these fabrics to the class? And the pelted, pelted means they are asking questions, they are throwing questions on the teacher. That is called pelted her. She smiled and wrote on the blackboard, Textiles of India. She did not give answer to them. Just she simply gave a smile and written on the blackboard. What did she write? Textiles of India. Ikat of Andhra Pradesh. No one could spell. Ikat. Someone yelled Ikat. And a few children giggled. Janki teacher said it is pronounced this way. When she had written I-K-A-T. Automatically children are unable to pronounce that word. And some are giving different pronunciations where the others started giggling. Now the teacher is showing the pronunciation I as I in it. In it, how do you pronounce I? E. And Ka in Kamala. Kamala taking the first two alphabets, the sound of those Ka. Now E, Ka. Now do you add them and T as TH in with, with, when you pronounce the ending pronunciation, now automatically it is called as, what do we call, a cat. Now 
ikat is an indonesian term meaning to bind or not now where did we get this term it is from indonesia the meaning of this not or to bind the class fell silent ramya asked teacher are these fabrics from indonesia teacher shook her head and said children can anyone remember seeing designs like this raghav said teacher the pattern on the rumal is similar to the one on my mother's sari though the colors are not the same janaki was pleased now as the term was taken from indonesia ramya immediately posed a question to a teacher madam are these fabrics from indonesia the teacher shook her head and said no children can anyone remember have you seen these kind of patterns anywhere immediately one of the student named raghav responded teacher i have seen the pattern on the rumal is similar to my mother's sari but the colors are not the same the colors are different but this pattern is the same on my mother's sari now janki teacher she was very happy pleased she persist means continue she persisted can anyone tell me the name of the place it is close to our state capital there i gave you a clue now come on can anyone tell what is the name of the place we are talking about now where this igat had started it is close i am giving you a small clue close to our state the children started shouting names of all the towns in the state as it is so near to our state then automatically every child is trying to give answers one by one one by one different different names in the midst of the babel in the midst of the babel means in the middle babel means when all the people talk different to understand now when a talk is different to understand one her, uh, madam heard one student saying this someone said nalgonda and the teacher said correct so one of the student had pronounced that is the place name nalgonda it is pochampalli village in nalgonda district everyone immediately connected to the name then madam said that it is a pochampalli the place name it's a village where it is nalgonda district then everyone immediately connected yes we know but we forgot to tell teacher we forgot we could not link we all know pochampalli teacher said quite let me tell you the story of ikat it is a story of our handloom what are handloom ahmad was the first to voice the question in everyone's mind now we are going to start our story we all knows about pochampalli quite let me tell me the story of this and it is nothing but a story of hand loom so hand made fabrics these were all so it is called as we have one kind of machine where in olden days the weavers used to weave with that we'll go to these pictures also at the end Ahmad was the first to voice the question in everyone's mind. So hand loom, what is called as the meaning of hand loom? Ahmad is the first where everyone got this doubt, but Ahmad had a question this. Teacher gazed around the class and said, "A hand operated loom which weaves and has been weaving fabrics for centuries." the meaning of the hand loom is a hand operated loom and this was from the past centuries they were continuing with this hand operated loom in the race against the machine we have forgotten our heritage our culture she fell silent and children recognized her pensive mood and kept silent and the teacher what did she do is she fell very silent after telling that and pensive pensive means very serious because the students are asking different doubts they are not giving a chance to the teacher to explain then automatically she got very serious that is called pensive and children recognize the serious mood and all the children kept silent now so that a teacher can continue now look at this picture it is nothing but called as hand loom the in past centuries they used to do this 
someone hesitantly asked teacher you mentioned the story of ikat now one student without his with hesitation asked you mentioned the story of the place ikat janaki began it is called chitiki in telugu and they have many names in telugu what do we call chitiki whereas in gujarati it is called patola and simply ikat in oriya please do underline this in comprehension passes questions you will be getting so what do we call in telugu chitiki whereas gujarati patola and ikat in oriya children's attention was divided between her words and the fabric as she operated opened as she opened a silk patola sari from patan gujarat it had a red design on a black background with rows of flowers in the border the simple leaf design repeated across the body and the flowers in the border created a mesmerizing effect now the teacher opened a silk patola sari patola sari which was from patan it was prepared where patan is gujarat and the sari it has a red design black background and rows of flowers in the border the simple leaf design across the body means across the sari it is repeated with this leaf design and the flowers created mesmerizing effect having a strong effect the sari looks very beautiful usually <coughs> you might have observed uh, your mother sarees your grandmother sarees and they are different silk sari cotton sarees etc but when you observe sometimes you will be attracted that is nothing but called mesmerizing with the border or with the leaf designs or color sometimes the teacher said are you thinking about the word ikat or tie and dye while you are looking at the fabric what can be the origin of this word no one answered but looked expectantly as she continued in hand weaving we have thread stretched lengthwise called va and threads intersecting them with y is called weft imagine the graph sheet at the x axis and the y axis and how they criss cross to form square motif ahmad was excited teacher warp is stretched along y axis and weft along x axis the class was thrilled as a new understanding came now teacher is clearly explaining to the children about the tie and dye so while when you are looking at the fabric you will find the origin of the word but no one answered for that and teacher is continuing in hand weaving process there are the threads which are stretched in two ways one is called lengthwise lengthwise is nothing but warp and threads intersecting the widthwise is called weft what are the two warp and weft warp is stretched lengthwise whereas the weft is widthwise now if you imagine the graph sheet you will be observing x axis and y how they criss cross to form square motif so criss cross means with many straight lines that cross each other is called as criss cross and whereas motif designs or patterns used for decoration so this you will be observing the teacher warp is stretched along y axis where weft along x axis and the class was thrilled they are enjoying a lot to understand about the new thing janki said in ikat the threads are carefully sorted warp and weft divided into bundles then tied with locally available waterproof material like plastic sheet or rubber strip from car and bicycle tires then drop it into color once you untie the knot you can see white threads dotted with color at intervals ravi said teacher how do they know where to tie the knot janaki smiled the tie indicates the design we want we can look at a design or a motif and a tie ravi look puzzled it did not seem simple actually these weavers in olden days they are not well educated but from their ancestors or grandparents they have learned how to 
do this kind of the design fabrics now in this you will be observed the in a cut the threads are carefully sorted they will observe carefully where is the warp and weft and divide the bundles equally and they will be tied with what waterproof materials what are the waterproof materials they will be using plastic sheets they may use or else the rubber strips wear from cars or bicycle tires then see in the picture you will be observing how they are tying it then drop into the color so once you untie the knot then you will be observed the white threads dotted with color at intervals so they will keep their own ideas to give proper designs and how do they know where to tie then the tie indicates that is the indication point of the weaver for the designs they want and if you look at a design or a motif and a tie and ravi was puzzled it did not seem very simple it is not so easy as we think will be attracted but it is very difficult for a weaver to design that ravi you are absolutely right the teacher said it is not easy first you count the thread measure the distance calculate when to repeat a pattern only then you can tie the knot yes what you said ravi is correct it is not too easy for them the first what they are going to do they will count the threads measurement of a distance calculate when to repeat a pattern only then they will start the tying of the knots teacher it seems like difficult max ramya said now ramya had a doubt madam when you are talking about this calculation maybe it is very difficult for them correct your question is right yes it will be very difficult weavers may not be formally educated but have complex calculation at their fingertips as i already told you that weavers are not much educated but they have their own calculations about their at their fingertips they draw patterns on the graph and copy them on the threads so they will have their own ideas of drawing on the graph and copy the same janki continued just close your eyes and imagine threads stretched out long with dots of different colors shining i have seen such a sight in villages of nalgonda someone said teacher the dots are like raindrops chukka that is how the name chitki rumal this was the favorite headgear of fishermen and other laborers it was also the towel on the shoulders of traders in gujarat now come on children close your eyes and imagine yourself the teacher says that the threads how you have to imagine stretched out with dots of different colors shining now i have seen such a wonderful sight in village where in nalgonda someone said yes teacher the dots are like rain drops means chukka what we call yes that is why we call it as chitki in telugu what do we call chitki from where they had come from chukka what we call and chitki rumals are also used by the people favorite this is a favorite headgear headgear is a piece of cloth worn on head who wears usually the fishermen and some laborers whenever they do the work they will be keeping a cloth on their head no that is called as headgear a piece of cloth worn on the head and uh, in gujarat what do say they call the towel which they keep on the shoulders who will keep the traders the business people in gujarat they will be doing this she suddenly thought of another explanation she asked children when you have to measure a small quantity of material you use a specific word in telugu this time ramya answered promptly chitkedu and before she completed comprehension was written large on every child's face and suddenly the teacher got trying to say another explanation children so when you measure a small quantities 
you use a specific word a very small quantity in telugu i want she asked immediately ramya responded and said yes madam a small quantity is nothing but called chitikedu before she completed and uh, there is a comprehension was written large on every child face comprehension means here it's a somewhat questioning what it is teacher chitki means small and small dots of color which are characteristics of ikat the chorus the class was jubilant they are able to come up with an original explanation for a historical phrase so the class the comprehension the ability to understand by the children and the class became very very happy jubilant means very happy and they are all responding at once to come with a original explanation when trade was vigorous with other nations in southeast asia tai and dai or chitki as length of fabric was a favorite export item both in silk and cotton and this trading this business was very vigorous very active during those days in southeast asia it can be called tai and dai or else chitki but the length of the fabric was a favorite export item during that time in both either in silk or else cotton she said there are other interesting stories on ikat and what are they different reasons fights about its origin did it travel from gujarat to the south or vice versa did it first originate in the coastal belt of andhra pradesh and travel to nalgonda there is no systematic historical documentation to resolve this dispute the class was fully attentive now when teacher is giving different reasons to the children the class became very effective now different reasons fight about its origin the way the actual origin means it started did it travel maybe it started from gujarat to south or vice versa did it first originate in the coastal belt of andhra pradesh and travel to nalgonda so these are all the questions which was in the minds of the children there is no systematic historical documentation to resolve means to solve or to find an acceptable solution to a problem for this dispute so dispute means disagreement between the people and the class was very attentive for raksha bandhan the tying of the knot was done by yellow and red ikat dyed threads normally you will be observing this threads not only on the rumals or sarees now raksha bandhan during that time the children will be buying these rakis so if you observe the tying of the knot the threads which they use different colors yellow and red in our tradition tying the knot is very sacred maybe this has a relation of tying and dyeing process but in parts of gujarat maharashtra and deccan designs in ikat was very much influenced by muslim culture so mostly we feel it it is a sacred for us but in some of the places like gujarat maharashtra and deccan the designs of ikat was very much influenced by whom by the muslim culture muslims most influenced with these fabric the bell was ringing but the class was lost in a period when vibrant colors and compelling stories were woven into beautiful fabric now it's time to end the class the bell was ringing but the class was lost in a period still they want to know about the vibrant colors compelling extremely interesting stories were woven into beautiful fabrics okay this is what the part of it the ikat lesson this was written by dr b sham sundari now next followed with a glossary meanings please read it well and in study material go through the question and answers now i am going to show you few pictures of this pochampalli
once please go through this lesson so that you can understand more look at the pictures of the handloom machines and the fabrics okay thank you have a wonderful day